Hi, welcome to Wednesday's Tarot. My name is Brooke, and this is your monthly tarot forecast for September 2014. And this is the reading for Pisces. And Pisces, welcome new subscribers, welcome followers of Wednesday's Tarot. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscriptions. But most importantly, thank you for your support. And Pisces, I'm doing something a little bit different this month. I have a new deck of cards. And actually, it's not a new deck, but I've had this deck that was given to me by a friend of mine, a good old friend of mine who happens to be a Pisces. And I've never used it, so I was drawn to these cards recently. And I'm debuting them for the first time, and they're a bit larger than my other deck. That I'm used to so I pre shuffled your cards and you know from previous readings that I love to shuffle the cards and I wanted to pay more attention and more focus on your reading and the cards themselves this month so this is a new deck I did shuffle them I promise so they're very colorful they're very animated I have enjoyed doing and working with them today it's been a lot of fun so let's get started, Pisces, and see what's happening for you for the month of September. I can't believe it's September already. It's crazy. Pisces. This has come up for you I don't know how many times in the past, from past readings. But for many of you Pisces, the atmosphere this month or the atmospheric qualities this month or influences that come into play are for many Pisces out there, you're leaving a situation. And how many times have I brought that up? Many of you have walked away from something or are walking away from a situation. This could not only be relative to personal relationships, this could be relative to working relationships as well. And you have this card and it's the Eight of Cups and the Eight in particular the cups are relative to emotions and relative to the water signs. And we are a water sign, Pisces. I'm a Pisces, as you know. And the cups are all about emotional uh, feelings or emotional aspects. And this is generated by leaving an emotional situation represented by the cups. And for my studies, Pisces, I have studied that this is a lunar card and this is a lunar cycle in terms of how long and this is represented by 28 days or a month's time where you may be in the beginning or earliest stages of leaving something behind and it's going to take about a full month or a full lunar cycle for you to actually feel like you've left it. So those are the influences felt or the feelings felt atmospherically for Pisces this month. So jumping from that Pisces, you do have a relationship card. And this is a card of unions. This is a card about the Two of Cups, it's a card relative to mutual respect, admiration, unions, togetherness. So this could be relevant to Pisces who have been in relationships or are in relationships together. So this walking away may be relevant to a relationship from what I'm gathering. Now this is a generalized reading for many Pisceans out there. So this may not be relative to you this month, but this also can represent togetherness as well or working on something together. So keep that in mind. And again, it's a water sign. Uh, the cups represent water. So 
in terms of water signs like cancer cancerian people cancer scorpio pisces now you do have a major arcana card pisces and it's the justice card and she's she reminds me of christina aguilera in this card if you can see her and i keep sticking everything doesn't she remind you of christina aguilera like on the voice anyway she's the justice card and when you see a major arcana card in your spread pisces it's really relative to events of the month and this is one of things being played out in a fair and balanced manner whether it's naturally or could be legally or in a judicial way if there are legal matters that come into play for pisces this month but it's really one about balancing and judgment and fairness but this is very relevant to playing out balance and fairness in your life. So you do have an advantage when this card shows up in your spread, Pisces. Be aware, be leery. This came up for another sign uh, to be aware of verbal arguments this month. There may be petty disagreements with people. Communication might be a little awry. If people aren't hearing what you're saying. They're not listening. Um, there may be verbal disagreements, there may be pettiness or uh, verbal altercations. Try not to react, Pisces. Just respond on your own terms. And I've mentioned this before, sometimes the best response is silence. And if you're going through a difficulty with someone, don't react right away. You don't need to respond to that harassing or you know some offensive text that somebody sends you out of the blue you don't need to re react right away and respond or someone calls you and demands that you call them back you don't need to call them back so just be aware that you're in control Pisces and you do not have to react to everybody else's um, flotsam and jetsam. So this month, Pisces, just be aware of that, that that may come into play this month. And as Pisces, we're very sensitive. Like any sort of jab hurts us deeply. And sometimes we're so sensitive that we hear the negative before the positive, if you know what I mean, if any Pisceans out there understand keep me posted or write under comments. I understand, so yeah, we're very sensitive uh, to different things, especially with words. Also, Pisces, don't give away too much to people this month. Try not to let your guard down. You may find yourself um, receiving information that's not really based on fact you may also be receiving information that's not um, honest, that may be something that someone's kind of being sneaky behind your back about something. So really be aware of individuals or situations that is not serving you in the most healthiest manner. So and don't let your guard down too much with a certain person. Use your intuition this month, Pisces, especially when it comes to certain individuals. And it looks like for you, for many Pisceans, this could be a situation that you've left or are leaving. Now, I'm going to clarify for Pisces because I'm a Pisces and we're so special. So, it's... It just comes across to me that many Pisceans out there are really looking towards their future, really thinking about the future, waiting for your ships to come in, looking out to port, and really wanting a birth of some kind. Whether it's a birth of an enterprise, or a birth of a new phase of life, or a birth of an actual birth, or a birth of a new beginning, you're really just looking out to your future this month, Pisceans and really wanting to start over. And you do have a court card. It's another 
it's a king. I was going to say it's another king. This is the first king. It's the king of pentacles. And he's really relevant to money and finances. There may be many of you who may be consulting with a broker or a banker or someone that's in a financial institution. This could be relevant to an older father figure that's in charge of money, he may be helping you out with something financially. This also may be aspects of Piscean men out there as well where you're in command of finances or in command of your money this month. Very business-like personality. This person may come into play, but there may be also a major situation involving exchanges of money or money itself. And here again, validating this mistrust kind of be on your, don't let your guard down with a certain person. There's a situation depicting gossip potentially for some Pisces out there. It's the Page of Swords. And pages can represent children, but in this instance, it's really representing a situation. The swords in particular are all about conflict or strife. And this is one of potential gossip. So if you feel like you're kind of part of something like that this month, Pisces, where there's gossip or spying or people are not getting their facts straight, like I stated earlier, or people are making assumptions, or you're part of the rumor mill in your small little community, or you know, when you're in the workplace, take that into consideration. People are talking about your life. You should feel, you should feel very special this month. People are interested in your life. But you're going to have some family backup and you're going to have help. So whether it's in terms of family money or family businesses or family investments or just family in particular, that's very prominent for you this month, Pisces, with having that backup, especially coupled with the King of Pentacles. You do have summing up from your clarification cards the Ten of Pentacles, and Pentacles are relative to finance and money, but the Ten is a completion number, so this is really relative to a, a culminative effort from a group, especially relative to family. This could be very relative to family businesses, too. So, this is very positive to end on your spread for the month of September, Pisces. I'm not psychic, and this is not going to apply for everyone that's watching, but you have had this card before, Pisces, and it's the Eight of Cups and of walking away from a situation, and you're still walking away, Pisces, and you also may be, be, be beginning to walk away or take the steps towards the future this month, Pisces. So good luck to you. If you'd like a paid private reading with me, Head on over to wednesdaystarot.wordpress.com. I do have various types of spreads that I offer, and I have a new one that I've debuted. It's the birthday wishes card or spread, birthday wishes spread, and it's three-part divination. It's 30 minutes, and it's really about your birthday year and what's to come up for you in the next year, and it's taking a look at different aspects of your life. So if you're interested, Head on over and check it out. Have a great month, Pisces, and I'll speak to you soon.